as I observe what's occurring in the society around me, more specifically Western society, I frequently wonder what's going on between the genders that the divorce rate's so high and men and women virtually hate each other and nobody wants to, seems like nobody wants each other anymore between the sexes. And while I do criticize women a lot, I also think there's some problems with the men. So I wonder what's wrong with men these days? And as I observe the physical structure of the men and what's going on with the majority of men, I think I've pinned it down. I see these men walking around with these pubic hairs on their face, these large, disgusting, overgrown beards. And if you have a little bit of trouble on your face, like me, or even a little beard, you know, nothing big, that's fine. What I'm talking about is these men who have these beards that come down to here and are just puffed up around the face. So I'm wondering myself, do women actually find this shit attractive? Because if I was a woman, I certainly wouldn't. I, I think this is a niche kind of fashion trend that's been occurring lately with these well-groomed beards and these well, these well-tailored polos and these salmon-colored pants. Just because it's a way to mask the insecurities that these men have. You know, maybe they're a little bit overweight or they don't have their inner game sorted out or they're, they, ha they have a lot of inner problems. So I'm sitting there wondering, do, do women actually find this attractive? Because let me tell you some problems with these overgrown, disgusting beards. One, first of all, off, it looks like you missed the casting call for, for Braveheart back in the 90s. Perhaps you should go back in time and join the casting call for that because I think uh, that's what would fit you best. Secondly, when you're, it's, it's just disgusting. When you're eating, you, you, you get all these food particles and drink particles in your beard and then you don't even notice. Even with my buddies who have this kind of fashion style, you know, I'm just sitting there wondering, wow, this guy's completely oblivious to this disgusting mess uh, on his face. And the, and the lady, you know, women by nature don't rebel. They just go with the flow. So they have to sit there looking at this while on the date. How disgusting and awful is that? And then you have these food particles that get in there and they collect bacteria and then they uh, cause problems when you're making love and it probably smells terrible. Goddamn cat outside. What the hell is that? Yeah, I know, everything loves me. Because I'm, I'm the real deal. That's why the cat's here, because I'm the real deal. But anyways, where was I? Yeah, so these food particles, they collect bacteria and it's, it's completely disgusting. So that's another reason why men should not have these overly grown beards. And third, what is even the purpose of it? Is it some kind of hobby? Like you're cutting grass, you know, like you're, uh, uh, what's the name of it? When you trim the beard, the, the, the hedges outside of a house, is, is, that, is that kind of, is it that kind of trend still? Is that what you're trying to accomplish here? Landscaping. You might as well just go become a landscaper because that's, I think that's what your psyche is telling you to do. So that's another reason. And it just looks terrible. You know, you, you can't see your jawline. You can't uh, see... You can't, it, it covers most of your face. You know, it's just, from my personal experience, I don't even like dealing with pubic hairs on ladies. So why would I want it on a man? If I was a lady, why on earth would I want pubic hairs on my man's face that I have to put up with when I'm kissing him and making love with him? So men, stop doing this shit. Get your life in order. Stop fucking with your life. Stop being a loser.